A lot's happened since the last devlog. I almost became a Mormon, but then I remembered I don't believe in God. Welcome back to another devlog for At the Ends of Eras, my open world 3D platformer inspired by the tiles of my old apartment bathroom that you can play right now. I decided on a whim to release a demo April 2nd, so I spent the weeks leading up to that date wrapping up a little chunk of the starting area into a standalone package that gives the player a taste of the game. Sticking to a deadline was nice, not only because I actually released something, but it forced me to cut things I couldn't get working. Cutting stuff might sound like a bad thing, but I have a tendency to get stuck on small issues, especially visuals. For example, I had a soft body physics for curtains and things, but there were bugs I'd been dealing with since they were first added. With a looming deadline and no progress, I wound up cutting them entirely, and I've never felt more catharsis from pressing the delete key. I spent a combined total of like 20 hours trying to narrow down the exact cause of the issue and make a workaround, and every time I thought I fixed it, it was a complete fluke. Delete them. Get them out of here. Who cares? In the future, I'm going to set more deadlines and milestones, even if they're arbitrary, just to get in the habit of dropping annoying time sync features like the curtains. I hate those curtains. If this video gets 10 likes, I'll make a Venetian blinds tutorial. And after that, I actually made some content for the demo and released it. Some people even played it. There was some useful feedback. Somebody managed to flip upside down and get soft locked. A few other people were confused by the tutorials and unexplained mechanics. Some people said the control scheme and the movement felt off, which is a good motivator to do another pass on them like I've wanted to. Not only would it be good for the game, it'd make for a good devlog since I could finally spill my hot takes on game feel. But I could also just not fix it. Remember, anything's easy if you do a bad enough job. Something I realized after releasing the demo is I should have just put it out there without trying to temper people's expectations. I thought the performance was bad, so I put, hey, please don't be mean to me about the performance, please, on the page in an announcement video, but then I got comments from people saying the performance wasn't an issue. It made me realize I've mostly played the game in the editor while I'm streaming and recording 1080p 60fps video. For all I know, the game runs fine under normal circumstances. So I should have just said nothing and let players tell me if there was a problem, because my remaining options to improve performance involve rewriting huge chunks of the game or engine or both. So if you play the demo, let me know if there's stuttering or bad performance, because if nobody says anything, I'm not going to fix it. And thanks to all these playtesters, I have a lovely text document filled with bugs and suggestions and haven't fixed a single one. But I did do some internal refactors so the next release will break all of your save files. After releasing the demo, I decided to go on a break. I worked off stream for a little over a week and then stopped completely for a month. I spent a couple weeks on a space game called This Planet Sucks, so this is now the This Planet Sucks devlog. It's not an Outer Wilds ripoff. Stop saying that. Stop, say stop saying that. It's a space build ripoff. Specifically, I tried to make something that better fit my childhood fantasy of making my own spaceship out of junk like Jimmy Neutron, which Space Build and Gary's Mod never really gave me for various reasons. I made some neat tech like programmable objects, support for very large environments, a simple air drag simulation, and some star and atmosphere rendering stuff I'm going to bring to At the Ends of Eras, but the core building tools are just terrible. It's hard to balance consistent physics with building a functioning spaceship out of garbage. The core idea has some legs if I can figure out how exactly to solve that, but my break is over, so it'll have to take a number and get back in line. You can get the game's source code on GitHub and do whatever you want with it, but it requires a modified version of Godot 4 because I can't stop. I'm bringing up This Planet Sucks not just to pad out this video by a couple minutes, but because it made me excited in a way I've never been about at the ends of eras. It's a game based on a fantasy other games didn't satisfy. I remember playing Gary's Mod in Space Build with a specific idea of what I wanted and not actually getting it, so this is my first steps at trying to make that fantasy real. I started at the ends of eras because I wanted to stream a game dev project from beginning to end. I haven't put much thought into what the game brings to the table that other games don't. There's some interesting ideas with the game's story and structure, but mechanically it's just crusty Jack 3 with a smaller tool set more focused on puzzles and platforming. That's not a bad idea, but that's not especially different from other platformers, and I don't even care. I don't even play video games. Do you know what I did for fun on my break? I made my own spreadsheet program and used it to do my taxes. I owe $12,000 to the IRS. But, as I so succinctly put it in my second devlog, the puzzles and platforming aren't the point of the game, despite how much dev time I spend on them. Interacting with characters is the point. This break let me reflect on where other games have let me down when interacting with characters, and how I can make something I've wanted to play but couldn't. 
There were some mechanics I considered earlier in development that I threw out as being too ambitious, but now I think they're exactly what I need to make this game worthwhile. So stay tuned for my next devlog because Ooh, uh, uh, sequel bait, sequel bait. And I don't even know if I'll make good on those promises just like a real game dev. I'm in the big leagues now. All right, thanks for watching Mainline Devlog number 3. Uh this one I was originally going to sing Daughtry's uh, It's Not Over at the intro, but it turns out it's hard to sing that song. I did my best, but it was kind of bad, so I just cut it. But that's why you should always open your video with two jokes, because then you can cut one of them when it's bad. Anyway, I've started streaming again, and I actually did a lot of stuff since this video started, so it's a little bit out of date, but so are all the other videos. Uh... I don't know, let's take it away, uh, Nightcore Me singing Daughtry's uh, It's Not Over. Enjoy.